Hello, Gemini. This is going to be your April 2021. So, Gemini, what's going on? So, Gemini, it feels like you guys are right now dealing something to do with honesty or expecting something about honesty from someone. It also feels like sometimes people may expect you, Gemini, to have a full-blown Let's see. To have a full-blown uh, kind of like Twitter moment or full-blown um, Instagram moment or full-blown Facebook moment. What that means is that maybe a hundred selfies of you. Maybe something looking like it's always about you. Also, your card came up today with a hierophant speaking about, yes, meditating, trying to get the balance. Also, trying to find your way uh, in a situation. You're trying to figure out the answers to something that's been puzzling you for quite some time. I also feel like for a lot of you, Geminis, there is something here where it's symbolizing the truth of a situation. So what's symbolizing the truth about a situation? Something that you've been wanting to know. Something without a doubt here. This may have to do with relationships because it does feel like you're wanting to kind of learn a different way. You're kind of wanting to see here let me see if I turn on the light, if that's better. You're kind of wanting to see here exactly what's happening. Because you're wanting to create something different. It's like, okay, I already know what happened. But now, after I get the truth in a situation, or about the situation, then I want to try to create something different from it. I want to make what finishes better than what started. Okay, so in other words, you're trying to get a better ending than you had a beginning with this person. For some of you, the future of it didn't look so good from the beginning. Now you're being able to see something as a whole, which is making you excited about creating something for the future. All right. So you are trying to create such a bridge between the past to the present to the future. What this is talking about, there may have been a whole lot of rumors flying around, floating around. And these rumors may make you feel a little bit uncomfortable. They may have made you feel embarrassed. These rumors may not have been about you, but so much, but about your partner. For you, it may have felt that you had to become very uh, defensive. You had to try to protect your own reputation as well as you tried to protect your partner's. However, there were some things about your partner maybe that wasn't so great. But he shouldn't or she shouldn't be judged on their past. The thing is they've turned over a new leaf and they're trying to make a better way for themselves and for you. So that should be definitely looked at and respected. For some of you... There's a difference between what you believe and what you know to be true. I'm just going to say that. There's a big difference between what you believe and what you know to be true. You've been trying to figure out how to navigate this complicated misunderstanding, so to speak, that's happened between you and someone else. You're wanting to bring peace to it, no doubt. Because you're wanting that celebration, no doubt. They're coming toward you, but they have to make that last decision. They have to make that last choice to decide to come this way. If by chance they choose to go the other direction, then everything that you wanted and wished, everything that you've wanted and wished for will be lost. If they decide to come to you, if they decide to come to you, then what you're going to get next is going to be the sun card. So the sun card at the moment is not upright because it hasn't happened yet. But the sun card is prepared to do a complete turnaround and lay this way because the energies feel that your partner is going to choose to come toward you this way. So the good news is this card won't matter, okay? This card won't matter. Because your partner is going to come toward you. So that's what we're going to look at here. Your partner is going to come toward you. Once they do. Uh-huh. This came right out. Again. 
This is your partner. This is what they're doing. So right now, if you're wondering what they're doing, this is exactly what's going on, Gemini's. They're waiting. They're waiting. And they're trying to make that decision. They're excited. They're anticipating it. Listen, they've got somebody looking out and watching out to see what you're doing. The happiness and joy you're going to have celebrating. But right now, I feel like you've got the burdens here. I feel like you're overwhelmed waiting for this person to make this decision. You're definitely overwhelmed here. But it's okay. Because I feel like you're willing to wait your turn, so to speak. You're willing to wait to see everything coming towards you in the manner that it should. But remember, as you're waiting for it, as you're waiting to see what's coming, it's going to take a little bit of time. It is going to take some time and it's going to take some patience. For some of you, it may feel in making you making you feel insecure. You may be worried that this person is going to try to have their cake and eat it too. You may be worried that this person is so busy being in control of everything or they're so much in control of everything that they may not come towards you. You may fear that. Due to a tower moment that's happened in the past because of a decision that this person made because when this person wanted to have their cake and eat it too it created that tower moment for you. So that leaves you worrying again about a decision that this person needs to make. You're quite worried having the death card here fearing that this relationship will end completely. Fearing that they won't return feeling you won't be able to resolve any issues but that couldn't be further from the truth. Because even though, even though there are some things here that need to be addressed, something that needs to be able to have a different type of focus because the outcome is not going to be based on the same sneakiness, the same lies, the same betrayals that happened in the past. This person has taken the time since you've been separated. They've taken the time to look at their reflection. They've taken the time to see that in the past they did choose the wrong door. That in the past they didn't take their time to make that decision. However, <laughs> your final card would be the lover's card. So once this person is able to take the time, oops, take the time and make the decisions the way they're supposed to. To make sure that they take the right road. So once this person does this. Once this person thinks about what's going on. Once this person says yes, that's right, this is the way I should go. Knowing that you're going to be waiting for them. Knowing that this is going to be the outcome. And a card that goes over top of that is doing things in your own way. In your own style. This is you being allowed to create things the way you want to see them and vision them. It's also saying that you're wanting to share this beautiful artwork with someone else, so to speak. Again, I don't read as traditional tarot. I also feel like there is a lot of love and family here. Either this person has already met your family. This person has been introduced to your family, around your family. Or around your children, if you already have children. This is people that are already comfortable together. So when you were separated or split up, things felt very uncomfortable for everyone. I do feel like your partner, or you, but I think it's more your partner, really was struggling. Couldn't really see the truth in the situation. They wanted so much to accept somebody's help. But they just didn't know how. Some people just aren't able to accept help from others. They just feel that they were taught to do things themselves. They don't want to take advantage of anybody. They don't want to owe anybody anything. So they're just trying to do it themselves. When they were worrying so much. And you were waiting for this decision. As the Ace of Wands came up. You too felt like everything was a mess. Everything was in the air. Not only was your partner worrying, but so were you. You were panicking, looking at everything as this. This is a mess. What am I going to do? It's a big mess. 
and he's sitting there not as boisterous as you, not as emotional or expressive as you, but sitting there definitely with his hand on his head. Ah, uh, this man, this woman, whatever energy it is for you, male or female, and again, we are doing Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. But this partner of yours, Gemini, your partner, worried sick about the situation. Literally worried sick. I do feel like your partner also speaks to other people. Maybe a brother, a sister, a cousin, two people, a friends even, somebody who's very close to your partner. Don't worry about this being male and female. That's not how I read the cards. But what I do read is they needed to talk to somebody. They didn't so much ask for help, but they were just kind of explaining why they're acting the way they act, why they haven't been socializing much, why they haven't contacted anybody. They're very worried about you. They're worried about the us, okay? They know they're going to have to fight to get back in. They know they're going to have to prove themselves. They know that. But your final card is the Knight of Pentacles. And with the Knight of Pentacles, this card shows you Without a doubt. Gemini, they're rushing back in. They're very close to coming to a decision. They have been sorting things out for quite some time. They also know the wrong they've done. And they're willing to admit that. They're just not sure how to approach you. Or which way they're going to approach you. They want to make it look like it's a coincidence. They just happen to run into you. Or they want to come up with an excuse. Like, hey, I was wondering, did I ever leave my toothbrush there? Whatever they're looking for to come up with an excuse to be able to talk to you. To be able to make this offer. So things are definitely going to work out for you. Things in the month of April are going to lighten up so that your summer can be fabulous. Full of trips and adventure and water and swimming. You'll see. Lots more to come, so pay attention, because guess what's coming in the month of April?